looking at this lawsuit, you know, Cassie, she alleges that, you know, Diddy, he'll get violent with her and he'll get violent with any man that try to start a relationship with her. Bruh. He know who to do that shit to. You understand what I'm saying? It's certain dudes that he'll do that to because he could, he could get away with it quick enough or he got somebody behind him or he got some people there they no matter going to take his way for. It's only so far he's going to go himself. It's only so far he's going to go himself. So now, you know, he's going to Come at you hard. Try to play it off. Because he know if he do anything and it comes back to him, it's a lawsuit. He slapped somebody, hit somebody. That's a payday for them. But he'll make up that whole atmosphere and then he'll look at one of the bouncers or look at somebody a certain way and they'll take over his mess. So, I could see him coming at somebody hard like that. But by itself, he ain't going to bust a grape in a wine factory. But he don't have to. Right, right. But I want to ask you, right? And I know you ain't signing. I know you ain't signing NDA, clearly. But did, did he make his artist sign NDAs and people that work for him? Well, a lot of these rappers, a lot of these industry people, anybody who does business nowadays with the internet, they have indies, non disclosure That means that if you work for them, you around them, you can't disclose any of the information about them. It's the same thing that he gave to all his artists when he gave them their publishing back. I'm going to give y'all y'all publishing, but y'all can't talk about Janice Cone, Justin Cone, uh, Sony, Bad Boy, or anything that happened. Y'all can't talk about none of that. But there's some artists that didn't say anything, that didn't sign it, and they able to talk about anything they want to. And I think that's those girls that was, I think, Danny D. Kane. I think a couple of them didn't sign it. And boy, oh boy, they probably going to go after him too. Because I heard him, and I'm giving you this, Aubrey. He stood up there and he said in front of a lot of people, we were in the studio. And I said something to him and walked out the studio. He said, yo, I'm a drug dealer off and picked them out and, and, and pipped them out to my <laughs> pipped them out to my neck. He said, I'm going to drug them out. I'm going to get them all on drugs and I'm going to pimp their ass out to my neck. And I was like, there's somebody kids and walked out. And there's somebody that heard me. There's somebody that heard me. I mean, well, it's not only somebody that heard me, it's somebody that I know who was in the studio at the time that happened, and I still talk to him today. And we were just talking about that the other day. He didn't move back to Indiana. I don't know why. I'm going to give you that one. He said he was going to drug them all out and pimp them out. 